I'm Kevin Sharp. I'm the Marketing and Member Services Manager at the People's Food Co-op in Ann Arbor, Michigan. Certainly our, our primary mission is to provide the community with um, healthy foods and other products um, to you know, not only our members but the community at large. Um, so that's, that's our, our core mission. Um, in addition to that, we also do a lot of outreach and education about health and nutrition, sustainability, um, you know, the environmental impact of our food system, and you know, the sort of socio-political impact as well. Um, so I'd say that's our, our, our primary impact. Beyond providing um, healthy food um, solutions and resources for the community and your members, um, are there any other particular ways that you're actively involved in the community, whether it be events or sponsorships or things of that nature? Yep, we do. We support a lot of uh, local efforts um, in a number of arenas. We try to uh, focus our energies around issues of sustainability, land use, um, local resources, farming, food and nutrition. Um, that's what our, our members have told us that they'd like us to put our time and resources to. Um, we attend a lot of events. Um, just this past weekend we were at Huron River Day, which is sponsored by the Huron River Watershed Council, and it just highlights uh, our local river here and the watershed uh, uh, as the resource it is, um, why that's important to preserve and protect the quality of the water resource. Um, we recently did um, an uh, eco-ride, which is a fundraiser for our local ecology center. Um, we do a lot of uh, tabling at events, uh, sort of health and nutrition events. Um, do a lot of uh, school groups, um, just all kinds of things. My feeling is that we pay for our food one way or the other. You can either pay for it up front or you can pay for it down the road um, directly in maybe um, health care costs. Um, if we're not eating right along the way, then often that shows up in our health. Um, so there's a, there's a hidden cost there that doesn't seem so hidden once you're grappling with the health issue. Um, there's also the, the costs around um, you know, just what's it doing to our environment, what's it doing to our watershed. You know, we just talked about that recently. Um, those chemicals are going somewhere. Um, you know, what's it doing to the people that have to spread the chemicals. Um, you know, there, there, there are greater costs than just that per pound price or that, you know, what that bunch of kale is costing you at the, at the register. Um, and I think, you know, I think it's wise for us as consumers to look at, at um, the, the full cost, um, not just the, the, at the register cost of what uh, the, that food is. On the other hand, you know, I fully acknowledge that most of us, you know, we're, we're having to sort of pick and choose, so, you know, we've it's, it would be great if, if we all bought 100% uh, locally grown organic produce. It's not always possible. It's not always available in every community. Um, sometimes the cost can be prohibitive. Um, so, you know, we try to give people choices and um, explain why someone might want to uh, choose organic whenever possible and affordable, but then also, uh, you know, recognize that, you know, we, we don't want to be the kind of place that only people with money can shop. We want to be a place where everyone can shop. From a resource point of view, that um, we're better off purchasing local conventionally grown produce than organic produce that's been shipped in from California or Mexico or wherever. Um, and, you know, I, I think all of it sort of illustrates just what an uh, incredibly complex web we've created around our food. Um, there's no sort of easy answer to any of it. Um, I think the best we can do is sort of, you know, unravel the whole thing and explain it and sort of, you know, uh, try to get as many people as possible um, the information uh, because the industry is really not set up to distribute information or to, to be transparent. Um, so, you know, that's a whole other issue um, is trying to figure out the, you know, fact from fiction.